Welcome to Behind the Amish Curtain. I'm Jenny. I'm Eldon. Another beautiful day in paradise. We're Sarasota, in, Florida. We're in Florida <laughs> and it is such a beautiful day. But it is. Anyway, um, we've hit a lot of topics and we're wanting to hit some more. Um, there was another question asked about um, why uh, the beard and can the Amish men trim their beards and what's the purpose of the beard? Um, I always say it makes a man, you know, look real when he's got a beard. Um, and I remember back in the day when I first got married, I couldn't raise a beard. I, I couldn't grow a beard. So it was kind of awkward for me to, yeah, be with men or to be in, in a church where there was men and everybody else had a beard and I didn't. So I guess I was too young yet or something. I don't know. But however, um, there are some of those that will never trim their beard. Um, they'll let it grow, the full you know, beard, but you can't have a mustache. That is not acceptable. So That is worldly. That is That's worldly. That's what the English do. That's what do. the world would do, even though God created it that way. <laughs> um, so it's up to an individual. There's some of those that will trim their beard so it's not down so long. In other words, when you're out on farm equipment, it can get dangerous because your beard can get caught into a power takeoff, saw, uh, belt sander, stuff like Ooh. that. So it is a good thing to watch um, how long you let your beard grow. But normally, uh, you're not allowed to trim it. You're, they would say that you're taking pride into it. But I can still remember having those long beards. Um, some of the older ones that have long beards may be eating food. And, you know, is it peanut butter or is it uh, soup? milk you know whatever but get into their beard they, they they try to wipe it out and just the thought of the smell of it's warm outside and and you know this is not going to get washed until that night and it was just a thing that was going through your mind verbally is like wow this is not good but you only bathed on saturday <laughs> well that was kind of the saying but i think most of them uh, yeah, I would bathe every day, um, but I I do know that there are some of them that did not because, uh, as far as energy efficient, you 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 pretty much wore the same clothes you know a couple days, uh, just to you know save uh, money as far as water or or detergent or whatever. Uh, but as far as back to the beard, and the beard pretty much represents that you're married. Even though uh, in my last couple of years of, of uh, yeah, being Amish, uh, there was at least two, if not three, of the Amish kids that had a beard, and they were not married. So, and they felt like this is you know what what God wants them to do. So they um, yeah continue to grow a beard, but that's what the beard is for. That's that's kind of what you're told when you are married is to let that beard grow and yeah and you're not to have a mustache but uh to uh, let it grow in other words expresses to the community that you know this is a married man you know and uh for those that are not married you can normally tell because they don't have a beard um and it's kind of the same way with the women you can kind of tell when women uh, have beards no they don't have beards <laughs> But it's it's their indication of um, yeah usually being married, which was kind of confusing to me, um, which they would call it shot shots and hus do. I'm kind of kind of rusty. Uh, rusty on that, but <laughs> anyway, um, so that kind of told you in their position where they were at. They were old enough to be with. Um, you know the girls, but then as they got older, it's like, well, there's really no difference between uh, you know them being married and uh, being single. So I never really fully understood how does a person know when uh, a woman is married and they don't believe in having rings or any uh, jewelry, any earthly things that you know would tell them or tell the world that they're married. So that was always a challenge to. Yeah, assume or figure out if they're, you know, talking or, or close uh, together or whatever. Um, for the most part, in general, 
or in the in the community, uh, generally, yeah, you would know everybody. But if it was somebody from out of state that would come in, then you didn't know, and so you just kind of assume, well, um, you know, they're married because he's got a beard. But for the woman, if you could just look at the woman, uh, there was really no indications. So, so what did different. those words mean that you just said? Uh, it's a, it's a cape and apron. Okay. So when a young girl was old enough to um, join the other girls that were teenagers, whatever, and uh, normally that would happen between, uh, I would say between 10 and 12. Uh, they got to go in with the other girls and that's when they would start to wear a cape and apron uh, and that was usually indication that they're a teenager so but then transitioning into marriage there's not really much change no there's oh. there's not much change and uh, yes and the women are not allowed to cut their hair their hair stay the way they are and um, so yeah, that's that's a that's another uh, touchy subject as far as women's hair. Uh, I always felt, and I still believe that way, that women with long hair is is a beauty and a glory to her from God. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, you have in some areas where the women are not to shave, so they're not to shave their legs or anything like that. They believe that's wrong. It's taking pride into their body and. So that's another topic for another day. So hopefully this will answer some questions on why do men have beard and is it okay for them to uh, trim their beard? And yes, how long can they yeah, grow the beard? I've seen some of them that are yeah down uh, below their chest. So it's interesting. It's interesting, but anyway, have a good day. Keep smiling. Jesus loves you. Bye.